Craig Hicks, the Surrey FA referee development officer, uh, been in post for two years now. Um, so for those of you that don't know kind of what that role entails, it's to uh, support the delivery of the FA grassroots football strategy uh, and to recruit, convert, retain, develop and progress uh, referees um, that service the game within uh, grassroots football. Uh, and I'm also a uh, step one, level one uh, football referee. Um, so as you said, they're referee within the professional game in the EFL. Thank you for that, Craig. Um, so to get a clear understanding of who you are to the listeners, we'll just go back to the beginning. Uh, so when did you decide to become a referee? Yeah, I uh, decided when I was uh, 15 years of age. Um, I played the game. I loved the game like uh, every referee um, does. But uh, I always describe kind of people that ask me that question. I was very much right-footed and I played left-back because no one else wanted to be there. To listen to the full audio, please head to our Spotify channel or click the link in our description below. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to Talk Footy. We hope you enjoyed our guest Craig Hicks. Now we will be talking about the league fixtures and results that happened during the last time we recorded Talk Footy. With weather conditions once again playing a huge factor in the last few weeks, we've seen a huge number of games been postponed, both from the grassroots level up to the elite level. That would always be the case, unfortunately, around uh, this, this, uh, these winter months. Yeah, unfortunately we know that a bit too well. And one side were impacted over the weekend was Sutton United, who saw their League 2 tie against Harrogate Town postponed due to an unplayable pitch. You may remember that only a couple of years ago, Sutton did have a 3G pitch at Gant Green Lane. However, that had to be ripped up due to EFL regulations after their chief promotion to League 2. Very unfortunate to hear. It would have been an exciting uh, tie, but it gives Sutton uh, time to regroup to go again as they sit bottom of the table at League 2. Yeah, you've got to hope that Sutton could change it around in a couple of weeks. They have been on good form recently and also in the third round of the FA Cup. Um, I think some questions can certainly be raised to the EFL about a rethink given how we lose multiple games a season due to the weather conditions. There are positives uh, for both the community impact and, it, and it's a huge part of having a 3G pitch and that can be seen here at our very own Mellow Bank. Therefore, that meant that Dorking's third round FA Trophy match against Maidenhead United was on and not affected by the weather, something which Dorking fans would be happy about given they defeated their National League compatriots 3-0 and moved to the next round. Always great to see Surrey's sides uh, advancing these competition and we hope they keep on advancing and hopefully maybe even win the competition. Woking, however, were not as fortunate. With their FA Trophy fixture against uh, National League South side, Western Supermare, postponed to Tuesday due to the weather. We're recording that on the Tuesday, so best of luck Woking. The women's side of the game was affected just as much with both Dorking Wanderers trips to Enfield Town, as well as Sutton United's fixture with Aylesford in the London and South East Women's Premier, both postponed. Both sides now have games in hand on quite a few of the teams around them and will be looking to send the table when they catch up on those games. Very disappointed to hear that uh, the, these many games have been postponed, but we hope the next time we do record this, uh, most of these fixtures would have been played. And finally, further down in the Southern Region Women's Division 1 South, Woking's game against Bournemouth Sports did go ahead and saw the two sides come away with a share of the points and a nil-nil draw. Ashmount Lee, the other uh, sorry side in, that league, in the league, saw their fixture with AFC Portchester postponed, however. Hello and welcome to Sorry Summarise where we will update you on everything that is going at Surrey FA at the moment. It's been a hugely successful month here at Surrey FA as we took home two awards at the County FA Recognition Awards. Surrey FA won the Equality, Diversity and Inclusion Award through our Unite Through Football Refugee Campaign as well as the Youth Engagement Award in recognition of our Youth Forum. We were also on the shortlist for our partnership with Thought Park Resort and we were the only county to win two award categories we are immensely proud of our team and are already looking forward to next year. Great to have played a part in all three um, in some shape or form, whether that be helping out with the event or just being a part of it, especially the Youth Forum, which I'm a part of as a sustainable champion. Yeah, massive, um, massive congratulations to the whole team. It's, it's really good to be a part of it at the minute. 
And the Surrey Senior Cup third round draw is what we'll be looking at next. And that was announced over the weekend with eight ties set to be played. Standout fixtures include Corinthian Casuals hosting National League side Woking, Kingstonian travelling to Farnham, and League Two side Sutton United facing Hawley Town. The third round ties are all set to be played at some point in January. Exciting months up ahead and there's more to come from us regarding draws, so stay updated with our newsletter and socials. December also marked the launch of the Spirit of Surrey Awards, which recognises the work of volunteers across the county. This new award scheme provides the opportunity for clubs and stakeholders to tell us about the hard work their volunteers are doing. Each month, a panel of the Surrey FA staff will select the worthiest winner, who will win an £150 Amazon voucher and be recognised across our social media channels. More information can be found via our website. Please get involved every month. Uh, we would love to highlight uh, our key volunteers around the county. Um, and then moving on, applications for two positions on our board of directors are now open. Those being the chair of the board as well as the position of finance director. Both of those applications are up until the or are open until the 18th of December, and an application pack can be found on the Surrey FA website for anyone interested. And last week on Thursday, we welcomed uh, select group referee Graham Scott down to Meadowbank to do a talk with our Surrey FA core referee group focusing on player management. And we would like to thank PGMOL and FA Refereeing for making this possible. Our hugely successful Young Carers project has also continued in December, with one date left on Tuesday, the 19th of December, here at Meadowbank. Sessions have been running bi weekly and are free for children aged between. 5 and 15 who currently or previously have caring responsibilities. Easy Fundraising are doing a giveaway to uh, give a club £100 every day until Christmas and there will be a chance for a, a lucky club to win £5,000. So register now by either going on our social media and finding the relevant post or go to the Easy Fundraising website. The Girls Flexi League also opened up recently in partnership with Powerplay and it's, for, it's now open for team applications going into the new year. This, uh, the league is an extension of the highly successful Surrey FA Women's Flexi League, which provides monthly fixtures to nearly 40 women's recreational teams. For the 23-24 season, the league is open to under 12 and under 13 teams, with the aim to introduce more teams next season. For sign-ups, either go to our website or contact, or contact Emma Eaton at emma.eaton at surreyfa.com. Lastly, I want to thank everyone that participated in Rainbow Laces. And before we sign off, we are doing a 12 day of Christmas giveaway. And this should be going live on Wednesday. And then when this gets released, it should be the third day. So get involved, it won't be too late. And uh, we're signing off, Ivan, Nanayan, and we'll see you for our Christmas special. Have a good Christmas.